specialty grains are grains that offer all sorts of different flavors and aromas and it's different layers of complexity to a beer. Um, so here I have a couple of different examples. So the first one here, this is actually malted, I'm sorry, this is roasted barley. So this is actually unmalted. And I'll zoom in here to get a good look at it. So what this is, is uh, actually used in stout. This is a very common ingredient in stout. So we use this here in our uh, chocolate stout that I made. So what you do, this is milled, and uh, if you go to most homebrew shops, they'll have a mill in there that you can use after you buy your grains and just mill them, throw them in a bag and take them home. Or I like to order from different homebrew shops to go ahead and mill it for me, and I just order it. Uh, this right here, this is actually a honey malt that I used in a recent brew. Again, it's been milled, so it's been broken down. You can see some of the bigger pieces in here, um, but most of them have been broken down, and that's to expose uh, you know, all the good stuff, the good sugars and starches inside there that we want to get out when we do our steeping. So when we have these guys soaking for those 30 minutes or so before our main boil, that's what we're doing is we're kind of leaching out um, all those good starches and sugars that are trapped in here and getting them out into the boil. Uh, and again, what I do recommend when you do brew with specialty grains is that you use a bag to keep them in and then you rinse that clear. Uh, I'll link below to a video showing, you know, measuring out the specialty grains and talking a little bit more about them. Um, but what they are is, you know, they're not 100% necessary. Some styles of beer don't call for them, but they're really great. They add a lot of complexity to your beer and, um, you know, you can get really, really creative with them. So if you guys have any questions or comments about specialty grains, just uh, leave them below.